Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com and today, guess what? We're going to continue our WordPress theme. I said yesterday, no, day before, um, well, some I said sometime in my last video that the series would be continued because I know it's been like two or three weeks since I did a video on it. But I said it would be continued. I didn't say when because I had no idea. But when I logged into YouTube today and I saw that I had hit over 300 subscribers, hit 21,000 views, I was just like, ah, oh, that's, that's awesome. And I get daily comments now that I get to log in and answer. And it's, it's a lot of fun uh, to be able to help people in more ways than just sitting here talking to myself in front of my computer. I get to actually, uh, like, you know, answer their comments or try to help them in their comments. Can't say that every time that I'm successful at helping them because nobody ever replies back, really. But that really made me want to do the video, do the videos for the rest of the series. So I, would I decided I would continue the series right now. And that's what we're going to do. I had the plan to make this video about a responsive WordPress slider. Um, but I realized I can't do that yet because we have to turn on thumbnails. We have to make a featured image. We have to make featured images possible in our theme. By default, WordPress doesn't have all of its features activated. So we have to come in for our specific themes and uh, add support to our theme for uh, four specific features and one of those features would be post thumbnails so we have to activate post thumbnails to do that though it's not just a simple saying hey turn on thumbnails we have to define specific resolutions for our our thumbnails and in our case we're going to have multiple uses for a single image like in on some of our games we want them to be featured so we'll have a large image that will be in our featured content slider so we have to make the thumbnail large. We'd have a large copy of the thumbnail. Then we have to have a smaller copy of the thumbnail for like the um, game lists and things where we're going to have just the thumbnail for the game next to the title and the description. We have to set up at least a couple different sizes for our thumbnails. And to do that, we'll go into our functions.php. Oh, and one more thing. The only thing I changed since the last video, I believe, Again, it's been a while, so it may have been something different. I think this is it. All I did was remove the min width from this media query. It was min width 480. I did that so that it actually works all the way down to, you know, as low as it goes. Because before it would go right here and have to, you'd have to define a media query again. But no, we're not going to do that. We just set it so that we can define the single media query and it would apply it to both resolutions. And that works just fine. But if you have used a WordPress theme before that was um, uh, pre-built, well, I guess not pre-built, but ready-made, you probably noticed you had a set featured image down here. Well, that's what we have to do. We have to activate that ability. So in our functions.php, this is all we wrote last time. So we're going to come inside here and we're going to grab this function because we're going to check if another function exists. And there's no reason to, um, to write that again. We'll just say if the function add theme support <laughs> I swear the train it, it, like it doesn't go by that often like I think the past like literally the past three or four videos I've had the train in it. it it angers me now anyway we're going to say if the function add theme support exists exists if the function add theme support does exist we want to trigger whatever we put in here why are we doing that well, we don't want to run this code if that function doesn't even exist. If there's an issue with that function, don't waste time running this code. And then inside of this, we're going to say add theme support and then parentheses with a semicolon to end that. And inside of this, we're going to, we're going to say we want to add theme support for post thumbnails. And that should allow us to use post thumbnails in this theme now but that's not it we now have to define the sizes for our thumbnails like I said we may have multiple size thumbnails 
So we have to define each of those. Uh, and just for consistency, we're going to actually take this function and we're going to paste this one as well. We're going to check to see if the add image size function exists. And then we're, of course, going to fire the image size function. So we're going to say add. I can do this. You have to remember, it's been a while since I've done this. All right. And then inside of these parentheses, we're going to say the size of the image or the size of the thumbnail and give the thumbnail an ID so we can call specific thumbnails throughout our theme. And then we're going to tell it if we want it to crop it like a hard crop or if we want it to um, just resize it proportionally. But we want it to crop in our case. So we're going to set that up inside here. We're going to define the ID for this specific size. And this is going to be the featured size. So we're going to define the size for the image that will be placed inside of our featured slider eventually. Then we're going to put a comma there and we're going to go out and uh, define the sizes. And I'm just going to throw some numbers in there for now. I don't really know what they're going to be in the end. We're going to say 400 by 250. And then we're going to put another comma and say true. That true means that we want it to crop. We do not want it to resize proportionally. We want it to crop to fit in our boundaries exactly. If it resizes proportionally, it's not going to be able to uh, fit into a specific size unless the resolutions match each other. So we want to make sure that they will it will fit inside of the boundaries no matter the size of the image. Then we're going to take this. And we're going to add another image size. This one's going to be post thumb. So now we're going to have one for featured and it's going to take that image and also resize it or crop it. It will resize down as low as it can go and then it will crop it the rest of the way. But what's going to happen now, it's going to make one for featured and make one for post thumbnail. So we're going to have two different sized thumbnails. Let's make this one like 200 by 125. Again, these will definitely change before the end or before we actually use them. I'm just trying to set them up now and make sure they work. And the way WordPress works is whenever you upload an image in, in the dashboard, it will actually right then go through and generate these thumbnails based on your specifications in right here. So whenever it, it happens, when you upload it, then there's a feature you can you can use where you can actually regenerate images because I believe it still keeps the original image uh, that you uploaded without any cropping, without any resizing. So you can always go back and uh, regenerate the post thumbnails. So let's control S, make sure that's saved, come into our browser. And if we were to refresh this page, you see now we have a set featured image option. It actually worked. Um, that's good. <laughs> and if we come in here and we select an image, I want to select an image on my desktop here. And I made an image from the game I'm working on. It's just a very, very uh, close up shot of the player. I'm not going to worry about a title. I'm going to make it full size and I'm going to click use as featured image. All right, then we can Save all changes. Might as well save that size. And there it is. So now we can actually grab that image in WordPress behind the scenes and place it where we want to place it. So like whenever we're defining the, um, the area for our game list and we have the description brought in, we have the title brought in. Now we just grab this thumbnail and place it to the left side of all that stuff. And we have a very neat looking list of games. So to test to make sure our image is working properly, to make sure we can bring the thumbnail into our theme wherever we want, we're going to go into our index.php page and I'm going to paste in a little bit of a snippet here. And this is saying that it wants to grab the post thumbnail by the title small and then it's closing the PHP tag. So the post underscore or sorry, the underscore post underscore thumbnail inside the parentheses inside apostrophes it is it has the id for that uh for that thumbnail 
And our thumbnail I want to bring in is the featured thumbnail. Remember, we defined featured as the large one, and it is cropping. So inside here, we're going to bring in that thumbnail. Now, if we go to the browser and I refresh, it should be right here somewhere. Okay, or right there because we don't have any styling applied to any images in this area. But there it is. And you see it has the title when you hover over it as thumbnail one because I did not uh, redefine a title for that. But that is fine. It is working. We brought in our thumbnail to our theme. And it should have both sizes. If we were to, oh, not that. If we were to um, come here and copy this and paste it. You can go post thumb go to the browser refresh and there's the smaller one how cool is that so that's pretty awesome that's kind of exciting actually and uh, that means we can we can continue on so that'll do it for this video uh, we learned quite a bit and we have quite a bit more to go next time I believe we will actually start to work on our responsive slider I do believe we will use a plugin and then just incorporate the plugin into our theme as that will save us a ton of time. And it will be a lot easier to explain what's going on that way. So thank you for watching and do subscribe if you want to see the other videos. Leave a comment below if you want to discuss something, you have a question, if I missed something, if I just completely explain stuff not in a great way. Let me know below. If you did enjoy the video, please leave it a like. If you did not enjoy the video, please leave it a dislike. Let me know why. And I will see you next time.